We might be right in the middle of the desert, but I have no complaints about my hotel under the stars. We almost as comfortable in our tent as the scorpion is in its burrow. Especially since Mr. Abdul is such a great cook. Since the beginning of time, desert people have tried to make the best possible use of the animals they raise and the plants they grow around their oasis. Scorpions, too, are grateful for any food the desert offers. These dauntless hunters aren't so fussy about their food. Everything that falls into their clutches becomes a meal. Scorpions eat about 35,000 insects a year. The prey is chopped up by the mud parts and the pieces are sprayed with digestive juices even before the scorpion puts them into its mouth. This makes for more efficient digestion and enables the scorpion to consume large quantities of food at a time. Some hard-shelled beetles, like this one, are of no interest to scorpions. That kind of meal would be hard to handle, even with two pincers. By a strange coincidence, scorpions are predators of other scorpions. Cannibalism is frequent, even between individuals of the same species. In these confrontations, it is usually the smaller individual that loses. Scorpions are naturally immune to scorpion venom, but a stronger attacker will turn its victim over on its back and sting it in the main nervous system, causing instant death. What a mistake. In the desert, you should never leave your boots outside for the night. What? 